Good morning. Uh, I'm Andrew Slepik, as said. Pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm happy that I'm invited to share uh, uh, Godumaya's story, but also Estonian Woodhouse story. Uh, and uh, naturally, uh, regarding today's conference, it is uh, very much connected to, uh, to Norway. The today's topic, as you can see, is use of food in, uh, in modern uh, construction. Uh, but before um, uh, I'm going to go more in detail, a little bit about uh, Kodumaja, which is a uh, uh, trademark, um, which slogan is, we are building sustainable future, kind of uh, connected to today's uh, conference as well. Um, but also I'd like to emphasize that uh, we consider ourselves uh, as a builder who using a different construction method compared to uh, ordinary way of building, we build a lot ready at the factory. And uh, how exactly and what are the results you are going to, uh, to see, but uh, this is uh, part of uh, important part of using uh, wood in modern constructions. You need to be more than just producer. We consider ourselves being the uh, largest Estonian builder of housing in uh, of housing projects in, in Nordic countries. Uh, approximately 10,000 apartments are built uh, by today, 70 plus percent of them in Norway. Again, uh, close connection to today's uh, conference. And uh, I also uh, emphasizing who are our main competitors, but only because to tell to you that uh, I'm representing today here uh, Wooden House sector of Estonia, also the Wooden House Association of Estonia, but doing it based on Godumaja experience. So. Uh, in the other, in the one hand, we are with the other Estonian builders, uh, producers, competitors. In the other hand, we are doing the same things. We are fighting for the same uh, targets and results in a big picture. And that is the, today's uh, topic mainly. Well, uh, getting uh, uh, closer uh, to the details, uh, we had defined uh, four major type of uh, projects among our main activity, which is design and construction of prefab wooden frame buildings, mainly multi-story apartment buildings, smaller buildings like uh, row houses, for an example, but also apartments uh, for elderly people, people who need uh, care, they are either mentally or physically disabled. So this way of, or, or this uh, building method is very suitable uh, for that. But also mm, apartments in other buildings, which are permanent buildings, uh, but uh, users are using these buildings temporarily, like uh, hotel rooms, like students in their apartments and similar. But also for an example, Norwegian army officers with their families to whom uh, we have built quite a bit in our journey in uh, Norway, which started, by the way, uh, 25 years ago, in 1997. Having uh, two uh, house factories in uh, Tartu, and the paradox is quite uh, interesting we say that we build abroad, we make the turnover 100% abroad. At the same time, we are looking for building as much as possible ready here in Estonia at the factories. So that's uh, in nowadays the things are. More construction moves out from the construction sites to under the roof area so that you can build a lot ready somewhere and then quickly install it, complete it at the site. Do not be influenced by the weather. Uh, to disturb normal life 
around the building site as less as possible to speed up the process to save the costs etc etc and uh, those are uh, some of the major points why our construction site is still in big part here in Estonia under the roof um, our strategic markets based on what uh, my presentation uh, mm, uh, is made Norway, Sweden, Finland, Estonia, uh, Denmark entering to Netherlands, but do not exclude also other markets. There's such a way of building could be could be uh, accepted and warmly welcomed. Our customers are mainly real estate developers, main contractors, project management uh, companies. And to get started with the final results. We are definitely proud of being part of building the world tallest timber building threat in Bergen. Grand opening in December uh, 2015. We built uh, 62 apartments in that. And what was the one of the main topics there? To do something extraordinary in the world because the previous result was uh, 20 meters lower building in wood was very close cooperation which we achieved together with Norwegians large elements were built produced ready somewhere either in Estonia or in Norway or in Austria uh, even uh, somewhere else we came together we completed the building and there it stands. All is possible if you have a clear and concrete target, the vision like developer had. If uh, parties could cooperate, think together, be focused to the same things and to the great result, then things are going to happen. I will get back to this uh, building later on as well when talking about CO2 footprint. Um, showing you just a few photos uh, regarding final result. Uh, this is, by the way, the project which uh, won a prize being uh, brief up a house of a year in Estonia, uh, 2022 uh, project in, in, in Norway. Uh, and um, uh, showing you video in parallel when introducing uh, how to use wood in modern constructions. A lot is used in hidden parts of the construction. You do not see it when it's ready. Load bearing structures, either this is uh, uh, wooden studs, timber, wooden frame, however we call it, or is it uh, glue laminated uh, beams or, or, or pillars, or are those cross-laminated uh, timber elements to stabilize uh, the building. So, uh, more and more it's coming that the key is a combination of different materials. But, at the same time, still, the major material can be wood. But combination of dif uh, different wooden materials, wooden products. But as you can see uh, from uh, this uh, video, you gonna see for the next uh, pictures. Uh, you already saw it in a world tallest timber building. Not much you see wood on a facade. That has been a trend for a long time. Uh, we have been in that market niche. We call them tailor-made projects. Where every project is unique based on developer and architect uh, dreams, wishes, expectations, possibilities in a certain plot, wherever it is, then either in Norway, Sweden, or in the other, uh, other countries. But the trend for us has been like this. Looks like any other ordinary housing project, if I may say like this, although uh, this is built in wood because the load-bearing structure is wood. And for me, when we talk about wooden buildings, 
then the borderline is what is the load bearing structure. When it's wood, then it's wooden building. If it's not wood, then it's not wooden building. Even though you use uh, wood on a facade or uh, somewhere else in the building. So um, this has been rent, uh, which means that uh, we can't achieve uh, one of the big goals uh, totally to build as much as possible ready at the factory here in Tartu, because such facades we need to complete uh, uh, finally uh, at site. Like in this project, this is built in Buda uh, in Norway, uh, which is our hometown <laughs> in Norway, so to speak, because we started there in uh, 1997, uh, in November, that was our first uh, Norwegian project. Much more simple, much lower, much smaller in volume, but the basic is the same, based on wooden structure. Prefabricated here in Estonia and built, finally ready, in concrete uh, site in Norway. Or the project in Oslo, uh, which is uh, on the border of old town of Oslo, max 10 minutes to walk from Central Station at Christian Krokskatte. Why I picked up this photo, which I made in August last year, I very much liked those uh, shadows and, and things. It was lovely, uh, sunny and warm day emotion for myself, hope to share that with you. But uh, why I included that project to talk about using wood in modern construction. You can recognize when I am showing you the next picture. This is the street side, very urban. Okay, the facade again was uh, built completely ready in Oslo at place. But if you look at uh, uh, this picture. That's the same building. The other side. Courtyard side. And there, uh, wood is used also on a facade. And that was possible to assemble or to install already at the factory here in Estonia. So the combination of different materials, as said, but also combination of different solutions within the same project uh, is what goes on and the trend seems to be to optimize the costs and to be sustainable and to, to, to build more attractive uh, projects. Because even in, in this uh, segment, when building in wood, the very tough competition with the concrete buildings still goes on. Going to be also in future. So you, you, you need to find some points either more cost-efficient cost or faster or more attractive uh, visual appearance of the building whatsoever. What finally will uh, the, uh, bring the developer to the decision, okay, I go for this wooden building. Okay, another, uh, no one could say that this is a wooden building, but it is in Stockholm. Uh, again, based on a brief uh, wooden frame uh, uh, elements, modular sections but look like not the wooden building. Uh, you remember I told you about the trend. Or a Norwegian project, uh, not far from uh, Drammen, where again different materials are used, as you can see, the bricks and cement-based boards and wooden and, and glass and steel and all that stuff. Again, uh, showing you the trend. Or another project in uh, Oz, I think, uh, where this earth uh, movement was a year ago or something, nearby one kilometer from there. Uh, again, uh, there developer decided to use wood also on a facade. Looks very nice. Uh, combined with the concrete parts of the buildings where Rema 1000 uh, operating in. So again, combination of different solutions and, and materials. Same here. The first floor built in concrete, the top two floors in, in wood. Or old town in uh, Trondheim, which is wooden building, uh, doesn't look like very much uh, wooden building, but still is 
and mainly produced ready at the factory except plaster which was uh, installed in Trondheim. Or a few more uh, student uh, house uh, uh, project in, in Sweden or a hotel for Scandic Group in uh, Norrköping in, in Sweden or a Voss Hotel in place called Voss which is some 60 kilometers from Bergen. Uh, lovely place, lovely hotel, wooden building. Again combined uh, different materials on a facade including wood. Uh, but as you can see uh, when I introduced what kind of projects could be built in wood, these are good examples. Either this is uh, an hotel or student house project or assisted living or regular multi-story apartment. So the range is wide and even wider. Estonian producers are also producing uh, nursery schools and schools and uh, site offices, you name it. They all are prefabricated, they all are wooden frame or other wooden load-bearing structures. You see how wide is the range. We are still, uh, I'm still introducing to you a relatively narrow part. Okay, you got the final result, but how we do it? As said, building as much as possible ready uh, at the factory, but uh, what does that mean? Mean that uh, building is divided into modular sections, modules, 3D elements, however we call them, uh, like a Lego. Pieces are, are ready, you put them together in the concrete uh, place. So the floors are built ready, walls are built ready, ceilings are built ready at the factory. Modular section is assembled together, usually, to make it more easy to understand. One apartment consists from two modular sections, where all uh, necessary rooms are in, what are agreed to be in, like kitchen, like bathroom, like Corridors, storage rooms, bedrooms, living rooms, uh, can be bigger apartments, can be smaller apartments, maybe smallest have been 20 plus square meters, the biggest have been 200 square meters. So that very much depends on the concrete project, but the target is the same, as much as possible ready-made at the factory, that's the key point. Because wood, as a, a construction material or load-bearing material, gives you that possibility to build far from the building site ready. It's a light material. Even so light that in world tallest timber building we were forced to add concrete to the building to get it stiff enough. Wasn't that option. Otherwise we wouldn't use the concrete in that building. So um, once this chance is given that you can, it's a light material, you can produce it ready and transport to the place without destroying well done work. We need to pick up that chance. We did it and continuing, which means that uh, we install windows and doors, as previously said, if possible, also external cladding but definitely internal finishing, uh, floors, ceilings, walls, uh, cover the parquetry and or paint it depends on the surface, or there are ceramic tiles in bathroom, for example, sanitary wear, white goods, kitchen furnitures, bathroom furnitures. So all that is possible to assemble already at the factory. And the chance is given because the wood is suitable material to build it ready, to transport these ready-made elements to the long distance, to lift them up several times. And you are not bounded with uh, very much limitations. As you can see, uh, the ready-made elements, they can be 
very wide, very long, very high. Easily, if local restrictions on roads uh, allow, uh, we can build ready 70 plus square meter netto square meter apartment here in Estonia, completely ready. And to transport to the building site, for an example, in Norway, to assemble it there. Not always possible, because different countries are having different limitations on the roads to the width of elements or to the height. Uh, there are tunnels, there are bridges, there are gables, uh, whatsoever, uh, which may uh, uh, disturb the transportation, but we simply need to deal with it and to uh, prepare the project accordingly. But basically, that's how it works. Um, I very much like this uh, saying that uh, the best way to predict the future is to create it by yourself. Very much depends on yourself. So, uh, to continue with uh, this, I am showing you uh, one short video and uh, in peace and quiet from my side and then I am continuing. Um, the intention of uh, including this uh, video was uh, um, to have a better uh, mood to that saying, uh, which I uh, like very much, that it depends on yourself. Either you uh, take a chance and, uh, and be part of the projects like you saw, which was built in wood. You either take or not the chance uh, to do with the good partners something extraordinary in a world like the world uh, tallest uh, timber building uh, was. Either you take a chance and uh, go abroad with your buildings. And not only uh, factory built part, but to be part of, for an example, Norwegian construction sector. with all the rules and regulations and traditions and habits and, and so on. Uh, all these kind of things. Either you get inspired what are the possibilities around, either you catch them or not. This is why I added uh, this uh, video and shared that uh, with you. But um, along the way, for many, many years, I have heard a lot uh, that this uh, uh, building method is the future for last 20 years at least, which is good because things take time. And at first you need to start to talk about this and then they most likely gonna happen. In the other hand, uh, mm, some things yeah, simply needed to, to wait a bit. Uh, for an example, 
certain limitation in architectural design. We have heard a lot uh, during our journey in different countries that uh, yeah, this uh, building method is, is quite interesting. Yeah. But too much limitations and uh, this and that. As you may have seen from different pictures, not quite. If you are open-minded, if you take a chance, agree on the target, uh, many things are possible which seemingly at first place maybe seems to be impossible. Either you take it or go for that or, or, or not. The growing trend is that uh, good architects in our days, they know how to design a brief of buildings and uh, they do not exclude the option to build in wood. Meaningful uh, focus to the option because again every developer Every construction company, they decide by themselves, of course. Either this is concrete or this is wooden building, but leave the possibility to them to choose. Because that option is possible uh, to leave. In parallel, let's compete. The best wins. But if you do not create the option or opportunity, then it's not, not, not going to happen, uh, never. We can be pretty sure. Um, what has been uh, uh, <laughs> what has been a challenge still is, but the trend is right. There is a need for very good preparation. It's a growing trend regarding preparation of of construction projects, either through building information model or what is the main main point is that you can save time and money by doing this. It's getting tougher and tougher in this competition, but this kind of uh, building method prefabrication that demands you to make your decisions in an in early stage. To go all it through in your head, in your computer, on your table, with thorough discussions, not like this that we are going to start to build from here. We know in big picture how it's going to look like in the end, but not in detail. Along the process, a lot of meetings and, and finally, when you are there, the final drawings are ready. Not sustainable, not cost efficient, not uh, time efficient. If you do that all in advance and when Degrading the large cost starts, then you already know what's going to happen, what it's going to cost, how much it's going to take. So you create your future by yourself. And uh, about the skepticism, uh, the trend is right. Uh, building in timber is growing trend need for a professional builder is growing trend. So there is no reason to be skeptical about this building method, about this material for buildings. Some materials are having these advantages, the others are having those advantages. But as said regarding also architectural design, give a chance. Create an opportunity, leave several options on the table, then we can choose, or the decision maker can, uh, can choose. And, and this is good, uh, mm, uh, good job that uh, Estonian uh, Woodhouse builders, producers uh, have done, also Estonian Woodhouse uh, House Association have uh, kind of their step by step uh, down the skepticism that no, that's not uh, the normal way of building, not normal materials to use in real solid buildings. So more and more successful stories help to do that. More and more tests 
calculations proof by either Sinterpug, Forsko or, for instance, Norwegian engineering companies who are proving that this is fire safe, this is airtight, this is energy efficient buildings, the more uh, skepticism gets lower. So the trend is right, in my view. This is a good example, in a demo apartment uh, in the Netherlands we delivered last year and uh, the visitor's reaction was that, wow, by using this building method can be created such an apartment. Yes, it can, but it shows that uh, they are still in quite an early stage of recognizing uh, prefab buildings, recognizing wooden buildings, and that that is possible to build lot ready far from the building site, to leave less work to the site. So there is work to do in that market. But based on uh, Nordic experience, that is definitely possible to do. Digital way of building, uh, we have uh, created so-called e Kodumaya since 2008. We were forced to do that because we have been working abroad since 97. There wasn't any other chance to manage uh, to share the information between uh, teams, between employees, uh, to be efficient of what you are doing. Other way, I do remember uh, one story back in 2009, I think, when I was sitting the whole day in um, a airport far up in north in Norway, by the Barents Sea. do not remember the place anymore correctly, but I was alone there. There was only one lady at kiosk from whom I bought uh, some sausages during the day. Otherwise, I had a meeting with the customers and just waited the next flight to Tromsø. But uh, it was easy access to our server. It was easy to do everything what you could do uh, at office. Simple like that. So the digitalization and uh, all that uh, things, uh, it's un unavoidable and of course uh, all the world moves on that direction. So the digital work and information management. Last year we finished uh, uh, investment uh, to robots, to automatic uh, uh, production lines in our factory in Tartu, which are building ready um, all the necessary wall elements uh, for our buildings. I, I, I use the word building ready because that's, you know, one of the building methods to do that at the factory. And uh, not uh, very many building sites where the robots are building. In such a building method, uh, more and more factories are using that. So that's a trend. Again, unavoidable it comes, etc., etc. And uh, last but not least, about sustainability regarding uh, uh, ecological uh, fruit footprint, few examples. The world tallest timber building, Thread, it died uh, almost 2,000 tons of CO2, uh, which equals to annual emission of approximately 1,400 cars by using uh, wooden frame, by using cross-laminated timber, by using glue-laminated uh, timber, all the uh, technical solutions and followed Norwegian Passive House standard at that time. Or another project in, uh, in Helsinki, uh, in, in, in Finland, uh, where if you take the full ecological footprint of the building equals to 100%, then four floors built by us on wooden frame took 4% when that comes to load-bearing structure. And one story of concrete 40. And if you include everything, 
windows, doors, mineral walls, gypsum boards, claddings, uh, steel on a roof. Then, uh, if I do remember it correctly, uh, those four floors and the roof had max 60% of the total exo ecological footprint. And this one floor plus foundation had 40%. Quite a good example. And um, one example from Norway, where our team uh, uh, was together with Norwegians participating in one tender, where also a calculation of this CO2 footprint was one criteria to decide who gonna win, not only the price. That's a sign, in my view. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Andrus. Uh, if you can stay a couple of more minutes. Sure. Uh, we know we have a panel, but we are good ahead of, on time. And we have uh, uh, got some questions uh, from the uh, audience. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, yes. So uh, the first one here. Uh, Uh, you have done uh, some remarkable uh, projects uh, that um, uh, the sector in Estonia can be uh, proud and uh, and uh, many awarded uh, projects. Uh, do you have some remarkable projects now ongoing that uh, you can uh, give some hints what we can look forward? Not so remarkable than the world tallest spindle timber buildings, yeah. but sometimes uh, the project which might not seem remarkable at first. You are, you know, running your daily business and then suddenly when time comes to choose with which project you go for a prefab uh, house of the year, then you suddenly recognize, oops, this could be remarkable. The others also thought like that. So the very first one, what I show also the short video, looks like this. Uh, kind of didn't recognize that this is in a way remarkable, yeah? On six floors in wooden frame and uh, all other arguments to it. We suddenly recognized that this might be remarkable. The others thought the same and uh, we won the title. So <laughs> maybe okay. that's an answer. Okay, thank you. Um, the next one. Um, Maybe you already mentioned in your presentation, but still, uh, why do you call yourself a builder, not a producer? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, good question. Long time, uh, no one haven't uh, asked. But uh, it's simple like that, because uh, we are in so-called tailor-made market segment or, or market niche which means that uh, if we would say that we are producer, then we would produce the elements ready at the factory in Tartu, load them onto the trucks, say bye-bye, and we have done. It's uh, quite different in our case, means that uh, we are organizing all the logistic all the way to the building site, we complete the project there, test it, turn it up, and offering also warranty service uh, afterwards, which depending on a country, depending on an agreement, uh, lasts from three to five years. So the process itself and the scope we're offering to the market is much more than just to be producer. And we have seen when analyzed also building regulations of different countries at, um, and uh, how you uh, act on a certain market regarding taxes, regarding reporting about your people, regarding, I don't know, calculation of pensions and etc, etc, etc. That's much more than being producer. And that's why we call ourselves builder. Plus, uh, we are competing with uh, with builders in housing sector, not with producers. 
I assume this uh, question came maybe from the Woodhouse Association that uh, the statistics numbers could go. We shall figure up. it out later. <laughs> anyway, and uh, third question, and at the moment the last one. You have done a huge investments in previous years, as the expectation was to grow in a future, which needs anyway extra skilled engineers and uh, uh, labor. How you will solve these challenges in current manpower crisis? Yeah, uh, not an easy task. But uh, there are a few uh, key things. Uh, first of all, although the project uh, are all different, so-called tailor-made unique, of course, we try um, to build them by using as much as possible well-developed and reused solutions, so to speak. Which means that uh, once they are already developed, you can repeat using them. Which means that you need relatively less engineers, even in the cases if project look uh, different. A lot is already done. A lot is already approved in countries, either in Norway or Sweden or wherever we build. This is one thing. The other thing, uh, why are the robots at the factory? One of the reasons is that uh, there is a labor crisis. And it's not going to lighten uh, in visible future. means that we need less workforce. We do not need to hire so many people to the factory when growing than without the robots, without automatic lines. And otherwise, uh, daily business. You train your people, you work with your people, you try to arrange your processes in more efficient way, in addition to what I said regarding design and uh, particularly workforce at the factory. Thank you very much.